Hey guys, this is Brad from BD Production Studios here with a new tutorial for you guys. <laughs> it's uh for the jumper. It's a jumper effect. Um, you could have seen my 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 uh, video that I made. I don't know if you did. If you didn't, link is in the description or right here. Go click on it and you go watch it. Then you'll understand what this is all about. So, if you didn't watch it. This is kind of what we're going to be making. It's going to go off and yeah. That's what we're making today. So, go in, grab your footage, make a new composition with it. Rename it uh jump. Now, keep this now take your layer, uh trim it down to where you need it to be. So mine's right about uh here. Let me just trim that down, bring it over. So now take this, duplicate it. Du Blah, I still can't say that word. Uh, now right click it, go to time, freeze frame. So now go through your footage to right where you want to like appear. So I'm going to do it right about here, uh, actually. Uh, let's do it. Great. Ah, damn it. Very good. There. So, trim it down so it's blank and then you just appear. Now make a new composition. This is, name it Matt. And make it black. It's fine. Um, now go to new, solid, make it black, and comp size. Or you, and also now how you make a new solid is you go file new new solid or you press control Y or, or you in your timeline you right click and then you go to new solid so take this name it uh, distort and then duplicate that layer and name the second one background so, well, I don't think it's supposed to be background, but whatever. Just just name them two different things. Things. So go into your distort layer. Go to your effects. Go to uh, transition, CC, radial, scale, wipe. Go to your, you go to uh, the first, <laughs> basically the first setting. Keyframe it. Go to your, the end of your timeline. And put it at 100. So it does a scale wipe, which you cannot see because you have to turn off the back la ground layer. And that's what you get. Now go into your make select it. Oh, make this about 20. Make your composition size about 20 second, 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, go to your effects on the distort layer. Go to uh, fag blur and sharpen fast blur. Go to about here, make it so it's decently blurred, about there, yeah. And now click the repeat edge pixels, so then it's a blurred circle with solid edges. And it'll go out like that. Now go back into your little composition thingy, uh, your effects controls, right click and go down to noise and grain, oh, nope. Never mind, my bad. Color correction, colorama. Now go into your input phase. Uh, get phase from alpha, and then go to your output. Do grayscale, and then modify. Change empty pixels. So now it'll look like a black hole. You're like you're going inside of a black hole. Turn on your background layer. Turn off the distort layer. Go into noise and grain, fractal noise, go to f uh, fractal type, go to swirly, uh, keep that, keep all the settings the same besides the contrast, go up to about, that's very bright, go about 200-ish, whatever you find, good. Go to your uh, complexity and bring it down to four. And if you want, you can make it a little, little, the edges a little darker, 
like that, but I'm gonna push it back up. So now go to your evolution, keyframe it, go to the end of your keyframe and do three evolutions. And if you don't know how to do that, there's a three times or a zero times and just turn it to three. And you will have some really fast motion. So now go into your distort, turn the mode onto hard light and you should get something like this. where it goes out and you have this little effect weird like uh, it's just an effect now go back to your jump layer or whatever layer you have it named as now go and pop in your mat oh, I'm just gonna zoom in move over to the actual position if it lets me There you go. Now, uh, if you can see, it just kind of changes to it. So go to your, uh, go to the clip where the guy's jumping. And if he's appearing, it's Luma inverted mat. If he's disappearing, it's Luma mat. So you have it on there and he appears. And as you can see, it's not in the right position. So what you got to do is you just move it. Oh, you move the mat over not the actual thing and then you just gotta change the size so it's the full comp size and now you have the jumper effect where he falls into the pool uh, check out my uh, latest video with latest two videos this is the jumper one click on it if you want to watch it uh, click on the top one to see my energy ball one, which there will be a tutorial coming out. And now click on, and then you can also click on the middle one, which it brings you to Derek's new channel. And yes, I know Derek hasn't been, we haven't made one together in a while. He's coming, he's coming back soon. See you guys.